Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you with part two of this uh, insane PWCC auction. Um, I'll just start off with what you all want to hear. I know, Trophy Kangaskhan. Let's get this bread. Okay, so this gave me so much anxiety having to sell my stocks last week, having to wait for them to settle, wire it over to my uh, main account that I you know, transferred the funds over from originally, had to write myself a loan, a check from one business to the other, waited for that to settle and you know i wound up getting i had like 98 grand in the account at one point and i was like all right let's get this let's get this bread and i was outbid by a long shot like there was the top one two three four five bids um 81 000 was my bid i was the fifth highest bid and i would have gone up to like 98 you know whatever um but i was outbid pretty early uh like a day early at 100 grand and then I, I text my friend Ryan. I text. I'm, I had so many people texting me. I was like, "All right, guys, give me like ten minutes. I have to." It's like a constant, constant struggle. And there's, and that's not including the normal people. They're like, "Hey, what are these worth? What are these worth?" And, um, you know, I have someone right. Hey, buddy, someone messaging me right now. Uh, this is why I have a Patreon. Please, that just helps my sanity. Helps me continue to do this content for free. I'll put the link down below again. Um, so in the final few minutes. Um, I, I tell my friend Ryan, I was like, all right, my bear case for this, it's going to stay at 100. My base case for this card is going to go to 120. My bull case it goes to 150. Um, and the final 30 seconds went from 100 to the third bid was 136. Second bid was 150. And the winning bid was $150,100. And then this one guy, I forget his name, on um, Instagram, he tags me in a story. He's like, Big Brain Chavez over here did a Galaxy 10 uh, brain decision back in August when I got it for eighty thousand uh, dollars. Yeah, I appreciated like eighty something, eighty seven percent. Sorry, my brain short wiring here. Uh, in a couple of in a couple of months, um, this, this, this is why this is why I sold the rest of the stuff to try to get more of these cards. It's still undervalued. Not a lot of people know about these cards, and the reason why. I think this got as low as it did was because there's like, there was like three or four available. You had the one that was on PWCC auction. You had SM Pratt, uh, which had another one on there for 250 or best offer. And then you had another one. This guy from England has 263 or best offer. And then you have a BGS nine on there, and then an uh, ungraded one on there. Um, and as soon as this sells, the 150 thousand one hundred dollars, SM Pratt sells his for 150. So we had two sales of this, two points of data. The next one, if there is one, I could imagine that the winner, 150.1. The second place one that bid 150 went right over to SM Praz. I'll give you 154. It says, okay, deal. So figure the next bidder after these guys was the guy that stopped bidding at 136. So, uh, and, and then you have someone that stopped at 100 and then me at 81. But um, I don't think... If you want this card, you want this card. If you're going to spend six figures, you're going to spend as much as you can. Um, so I don't think these guys can just say, like, all right, I'll, I'll try this guy. This is 263 your best offer. I'll offer another 20 grand on top. You know, increase my, you know, the guy bid 100, almost doubling his. I'll give you 180. I just don't think that's going to happen. I, I mean, it's very hard. I mean, for me, it's very hard to come up with six figures. I barely did it, and I had a bunch of stocks and everything. I could, I could... Uh, transfer money but other people just it's very hard to have that capital um it's very hard sometimes to get four figures if you're just in this hobby if you're just a young kid you now out of college you have a bunch of debt and you just you know spend an extra thousand dollars a month is, is hard now obviously when people get really into their careers i think the average is like eighteen hundred dollars a month in expendable income that you're not using for your bills let's say your bills, bills are covered you have an extra eighteen hundred dollars a month um, I think that that's the average. Even still, it takes you what seven, eight months to be able to you know, seven months to be able to get up to to five figures. So to get up to six is very hard. Again, that's for normal, average working people. But on PWCC, you have a lot of cross collectors because they don't just do Pokemon. Pokemon might be their biggest things, but they do sports, they do Magic the Gathering, they they do everything. So you're going to have a bunch of cross collectors read the description that they wrote, and it was beautifully written saying how rare this is, how historic of an item this is, how this particular piece of history, I think, belongs in a museum. And there's only 11 PSA 10 copies out there. And this is the, 
my sale was private. I try to publicize as big as I can just to promote the hobby and promote the card. But people from sports aren't going to be on E4 or Instagram, like searching Pokemon stuff. The cross collectors will only read about it in either PSA magazine or ASMR magazine or in a PWCC auction like this, where it's like, oh, this is going to get my attention. Anything over six figures. And not just them, we have celebrities also. I would love to interview or, or meet the people that bought these, the one that spent 150.1 and the one that spent 150, because this is something that I, it could be Logan Paul, could be uh, Logic the Rapper, it could be Gary Vee getting in. But I think a lot of these people, though, you're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. You see, this is just the beginning, because a lot of those people are focusing on, oh, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, you know, the Trinity, the ones that are that everyone grew up with. They might not know about this yet. Once the attention gets turned to here, and that's why I was so, that's why I sold half my Tesla and the rest of my other stocks to be able to get this card. Once the attention is turned to the top of the mountain, that's it. It's it's game over. Because this is like as much as a struggle it was for me to get to six figures and other people to get to five and four. There are people that that is nothing to them. That they have seven, eight figures in the bank, and those. 250 that, that's nothing I, they what did the last uh wayne gretzky sell for like four hundred thousand dollars and that was how many years ago next one will go for what nine hundred thousand million whatever it is people spend millions of dollars on on baseball cards on hockey cards and um pokemon is such a young hobby at 25 years old and again this is like top of the top of the mountain you obviously have the illustrator you have the pikachu trophies and the super secret battle promos but Toby Kangaskhan, like this, <laughs> this is it. Um, this is one of the best ones in the hobby. So you're you're gonna have all, all it takes is two people to uh, it, that have that extra capital. They have an extra seven figures that they could spend, and the next one, you know, if the one for two sixty three winds up going at some point, the next one on auction, whoever it is, um, that that's gonna go for God, sky's the limit. Because, again, the attention's not on this right now. The attention's on base set. And Scott is not selling his. SM Pratt, he has one left. He is not going to sell that. Maybe if someone offered him a million dollars, he might. If someone were to walk up to me right now and say, like, I'll give you $200,000 for yours, that's an extra 33% above the last price point, I'll tell him the heck off. No way. No freaking way. This is way too undervalued. <sighs> Moving on past that, we had a Unicarp. Uh, University Magikarp, PSA 10, the top one, two, three, four, five bids were 44,000, 44,200, 46,000, 50,000, and 50,100 dollars. Uh, so there's a record price point for the Unicarp by a long shot. The Audi? Or are you just watching? Okay, you're just watching. Cool, cool. Uh, so we had a Tropical Wind, Tropical Mega Battle from 1999. Uh, it was a PSA 10, which is, th these cards are extraordinarily hard to grade. The one in 2001 that SM Pratt has, that that's a nine, and that's the only nine out there. So a lot of these cards, whether it's the World's Championships from 2012 and above, the Tropical Wind up to 2011, they're very, very hard to grade. So the fact that this got a 10 was pretty stellar, and it, and it shows. It sold for $65,100. Very, very rare. Very, very incredible. Now, we also had a 1999 Tropical Mega Battle number two trainer. It's the one with the executor on it, um, and it wasn't even, like, it was graded, PSA authenticated, but there was no actual grade. It just said authentic. I would have given it a 7, had a little thing in the top right corner that was like almost like high, white highlighter or white out or something. But it still sold for $50,300. Price points on these are ridiculous. We had a grand party, PSA 10, two grand party PSA 10s. One sold for uh, $3,550. The other sold for $4,151. We had a Masaki promo, uh, Alakazam, PSA 8, sold for $610. And a uh, Mew Black Star 9.5, um, BGS 9.5, and a 10 for the centering. Uh, so for 1225. All right, I'm going to uh, blast through. All right, so more promos, more promos. We had a, uh, a Japanese Neo 600 point fan club, the Shining Magic Cart, PSA 9, sold for $8,900. Uh, speaking of the fan clubs, we had two EV promos, the 500 point fan clubs. One had uh, was a BGS 9.5. And it sold for $3,108, and the other one was a PSA 10, sold for $8,077. Record price points all around. And this is just a promo, a 2000 Tops card. It was a balloon Pikachu. Uh, PSA 10s for $234. It's just a promo. So 
Um, moving on, we have Sky Ridge. Uh, we have Hollow Kabutops, PSA 10, sold for 686. Hollow Nita Queen, PSA 10, sold for 686. Hmm, nice. And Hollow Moltres, PSA 10, sold for 1635. And Gold Star, we had a Latias, BGS 9.5. It had a 10 for the centering and surface, 9.5 for the edges, and a 9 for the corners. Sold for $5,846. I think that's a little undervalued, in my opinion. Um, that Gold Star is great. I, I, lo I love Latias. Latios as well. Uh, we have a bunch for the Rockets. So we have Dark Blast Toys First Edition PSA 9. They have 1525, 1545, 1575, and 1525. Those weren't the bids. Those were the four different ones, and those were all separate sales. Um, then we had a Dark Blast Toys PSA 10, sold for $4,650. Uh, Dark Charizard First Edition PSA 10. We had three of these. And all three, got, it was 10200 10100 and 10600 All three of them got over 10000 so... Blaine's Charizard, the next one that goes for auction, will get minimum $12,000 in my opinion. I still wouldn't sell. Someone offered me 24 one of mine right now, would not sell. Uh, a couple of Dark Dragonites. One first edition PSA 9, sold for $960. And then a first edition PSA 10, sold for $3,700. And I had a Raichu. I'll catch you later, Dan. Later, you too. Uh, Rocket, a Dark Raichu PSA 10, sold for $2,938. And we had a couple of boxes on the Rocket set as well. One sold for $19,600. That was over twenty thousand eight hundred dollars. Uh, that's something that I think you'll see increase because we had a Giovanni, uh, a pack sell for like nine hundred dollars. So th this I think is going to definitely increase. Shout out to my friend Joe that has a um, has one of these boxes. He got it for like I don't know how a couple grand, and he almost sold it to me for six grand. He was trying to buy a house and whatever. And I was like, uh, maybe uh, I don't have a lot of money. I should have done it. Would have tripled my freaking profit inside of. Couple months. Um, we also had a unlimited Dark Charizard PSA nine, sold for eleven ninety six, and then we had a uh, Dark Char. Uh, I'm sorry, Dark Blastoise first edition PSA nine, sold for fifteen seventy five. Then we had a Lugia first edition PSA nine, sold for four thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. I don't know why that's in the Rocket set. This should be in the Neo Genesis. But yeah, Lugia first edition PSA nine, sold for four four thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. Um, which is in contrast to Lugia BGS9, which sold for $4,050. So it's a nice $700 increase on that. Neo Rev Celebi, first edition PSA 10, sold for $2,075. Houndoom, first edition PSA 9, we had two of them. One sold for $750, the other sold for $800. Suicune, first edition PSA 9, sold for $920. And then a Shining Gyarados, first edition PSA 8.5, sold for $1,300. Uh, Neo Rev, Neo Rev, Neo Rev. Shining Gyarados is probably going to be the one that's going to crack the 10k first. Um, the PSA 9, I have mine for 3k or best offers, like 20 something people watching it. Uh, the 10, I think, would be minimum $6,000, maybe eight. Um, for the Rocket set, we have, we have Dark Dragonite, which sold for over 10k. Uh, Neo Destiny, a couple of these. Dark for Alligator, first edition PSA 10. Great job of mine to sell mine for 1800. Um, this one sold for fifteen twenty-five. Dark Houndoom first edition PSA ten sold for fifteen twenty-five as well. Nice. Dark Tyranitar first edition PSA ten three thousand four hundred fifty-three dollars. New record price point. Incredible. That Dark Houndoom I wanted so bad. Such cool artwork. Fifteen twenty-five. I think is very undervalued for it. Very very undervalued. Uh, Light Dragonite first edition PSA ten. We had two of them. One sold for nineteen forty-seven. The other sold for fifteen fifty. I didn't look at the. I look at these, like, see which one is better or not, but sometimes they're really close. They're, really like, really the same. But you can't, like, you don't want to bid for both of them if you don't have that much money. If you only have $2,000 to spend, you don't want to accidentally win both and be like, oh, fuck. You know, you want to be able to... Excuse me. You want to be able to just bid on one, and, and that's probably what happened. One just ran, the other one didn't. Aquapolis. Um, Entei, PSA 10, sold for 1075 a uh, Houndoon from Aquapolis, PSA 10, sold for $22.75. Nido King, PSA 10, sold for $4.30. Zapdos, PSA 10, sold for $6.60. Lugia, PSA 10. It's like a crystal hollow Lugia, PSA 10. $10,300. I freaking love that one so much. And uh, Nido King, it was like a crystal Nido King. PSA 9, sold for $8.20. Um, there's a lot of Aquapolis that I think is. I think a lot of Aquapolis and Sky Ridge are underrated because of really good artwork. And there's not, not a lot of them made. Not a lot of prints for them. Um, so that's it. Finally, I, I know the first, like, five minutes were just about the Trophy Kangaskhan. But that's my that's, that's my baby. Um, I'm not selling mine. You will not see mine. 
I, I was going to say maybe 2030. But if by 2025, one sells for like a million dollars, like, okay. Maybe. Not. I don't know. Uh, anyway, guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Patreon's down below as well. Shout out to my one Patreon member, Eli. I love you, brother. Bye-bye.